This is a video on how you can take a standard Dyson V6 vacuum cleaner uh, and do two modifications on it so that you get uh, about an hour of battery life and you also have a battery meter. So here are the two vacuum cleaners. Here's a standard one as it comes out of the box and here's the modified one. The modification is a much higher power battery and a battery gauge so that you always know how much battery power you've got left. That's really useful because I think the standard vacuum cleaner with 20 minutes um, limits what you can really do. So with one hour of battery use, you can really you know, get a lot more vacuuming done. And with a battery meter, you know when uh, your battery's just about to go. So you can uh, plan a little bit. So here's how it's done. So let's start with the first modification. We're going to uh, install a battery meter on the Dyson V6. This is a uh, standard battery meter that you can buy off eBay. Uh, it's a very simple little device and you can program it for most batteries. So it's a little, little screen like that and on the back you can see where you can connect it and it's got a little button there that you can use to program it. So that's the battery meter. And uh, what we need to do is just get the back off this motor. A lot of people have been struggling with this, so you just use a simple uh, puller tool like this plastic one that is also available on the eBay. And you insert the puller tool just here. And you'll see how quickly this will work if I get it right. So the tool's in, and then we just rotate the tool around the back of the vacuum cleaner while keeping a little bit of pressure on. There you go, and that releases the uh, the back cover. So now you can see the the circuit, the control circuit for the vacuum cleaner, and you can see a uh, red and black wire uh, that go to the battery. And uh, there's the red and black wire that come with your battery meter. You simply connect the wires red to red, black to black. And if you look in the back of the housing, you've got some foam. So what you do is just remove the foam temporarily and feed the wire, so you can just glue that on the back of there. Um, with any sort of adhesive you can use double sided tape or um, some contact adhesive. And then you just run the wire through the side of the housing here and then it comes through and joins onto the back of the motor. And this is what the finished product looks like. There, so you've got your battery meter plugged in and the wire just discreetly goes through there. You can hardly see it on this vacuum cleaner. There it is. I've used a bit of a black sleeve to, uh, to blend the wire in. And that just means now when you're vacuuming, you press the button and you can see how much battery power you've got left. Actually with this conversion, the, when the battery meter reads 0%, um, you actually only have one minute remaining. So uh, I think that's really useful. Now we're going to modify the battery. Uh, so the first step is to remove the battery, and that's done by releasing two screws. So I've taken them out earlier. There's a screw there, which you remove, and another one just there. So once those two screws are removed, you can separate your battery from your cleaner. So you no longer need this bit for now. So that's your battery. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert this battery into a battery that looks like this. Just a little bit bigger and heftier looking. Um, and side by side, that's what the two batteries look like. So one is bigger than the other. And the conversion will be, um, this battery has six uh, small uh, cells in it. There's actually only five in this set here, but that's pretty much what it looks like. It's a pack of six 2,000 milliamp hour lithium ion cells. And we're going to replace those six with another six um, 5,000 milliamp hour cells. And we're just going to reform the plastic component of the battery so it looks a bit more um, less, more like a finished, proto a finished product rather than a prototype. So basically we're going to convert that into that. So the first step is to work our way around the battery and uh, using a tool like this one I've managed to open this part of the battery and I've inserted some spacers in the sides 
and then I'll release the top part of the battery. So we'll work our way right round the back of the battery to separate it. And then we just need to undo a screw just here if I can get the focus. So there's a little screw in there. Just undo that screw and then we'll have the, um, the battery uh, apart so we can pull out the inside. This isn't the easiest so you've got to be really patient. Um, if you struggle you can heat up the plastic a little bit with a hairdryer to make it a bit, um, a bit more pliable. So there we have the uh, battery. The back section has been removed. A few little wires and springs and stuff stick out but we'll put all those back in later. And we'll just gently ease that off. And now we revealed the battery pack that's uh, made up of um, six cells, six uh, what well, probably is Samsung or Panasonic cells, and then that's your control circuit and charging circuit uh, micro switch in uh, in there. So what we can do is two things at this stage. If you want a real simple upgrade, you just remove these cells. Look a bit like that. Um, and upgrade those. Um, you can, the highest you can get on the market, I believe, at the moment, is a 3,500 uh, milliamp hour cell. So these are only 2,000 uh, milliamp hours. So by upgrading to the same size but just better capacity, um, you can nearly double the um, performance and the um, you know the lifetime of this battery. So that's phase one. Then all you do is push it all back together when you've finished, change the batteries and put your case back together. And phase two is what I'm going to show you now. You actually um, cut away this part of the battery and replace it with bigger cells to make a, you know, a battery that's 5,000 milliamp hours. So this is how I chose to do it on mine. I got this part of the battery and sliced away with a hacksaw all the um, plastic and then I kept a small piece of plastic and put it in here and then glued the control circuit to that side of the battery. So you can see it's actually on the plastic bit. So the original battery, the control circuit, is actually stuck to the cells. And this battery, I've actually glued it to the top of this plastic. Um, then I've formed my new cell pack with the 5000 milliamp hour cells. So these are much bigger, um, if you look at size comparison. They're a lot bigger than those. And then that just rests in there, and I've soldered my wires. So it's more of an intermediate project doing the battery. I think the the gauge is a, is easy. Well, this is a bit more involved, but basically, long and the short of it, you can get six cells lined up this way around in the footprint of this modified battery frame. And to finish it off, what we do is use a little bit of um, well, what I chose is use a little bit of this fake carbon vinyl, and you just cut a piece and mould it around this battery pack to hold it all uh, in place and I, I think it looks pretty uh, pretty cool. Right so here goes, I'll, um, I'll mould the thing around and then we'll see what it looks like. So there we have a um, piece of uh, vinyl fake carbon fibre and I've cut that roughly the right size. I've put end caps on my battery made of vinyl carbon fibre what we're going to do is um, seal that around the battery to finish it off and then we'll have a nice tidy, um, hopefully, tidy job. So now we've wrapped the uh, fake carbon fibre around the cells to hold them in. You can see they're all uh, nicely held in. We just need to now trim with a standing knife around the battery to finish it off. There, job's finished. So I've got a nice, I just got a nice semicircle here, and that's my uh, finished battery, which I think looks uh, looks cool in carbon fibre. It looks all turbocharged compared to the standard one, um, and that just works as an all battery does. So you just fit that onto your onto your vacuum cleaner. You're good to go. Well, hope that's been a useful video for you out there that want to upgrade your Dyson V6. I think it's a great product, a great vacuum cleaner, um, but obviously like any product it's um, a compromise of cost versus performance. So if you've got the spare money to upgrade your batteries, um, put a um, battery meter on it, it'll increase the cost but I think it's worth it. It just makes it into something 
uh, a little bit more usable. So the easy modification is adding the battery meter. Costs about three pounds off eBay. Nice safe modification. And the more intermediate modification is changing the batteries. So we've upgraded from a 2000 milliamp hour to a 5000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Um, the hazards associated with these are basically that they can catch fire. So just make sure before taking this one on, you're happy soldering um, lithium batteries. If you get it wrong and short them out, they'll catch fire. So um, that's probably the only word of uh, warning on this modification. But now I think it's a great product and uh, now all I need to do is uh, finish the vacuuming. <laughs> yeah.